Uh, see, yeah, it's just me saying random shit like housekeeping, like talking about my shopping list for half an hour. Egg, milk, butter, cheese. Welcome back to episode 74. Shit. In I the middle like, of the uh, Audi aisle, whatever you can find. Yeah, motorcycle you know, helmet and a fucking whippersnipper. I went into Audi the other day and all the middle aisles were gone. Bro, no way. I haven't been to Aldi in forever. This is the episode no, no, started no, now. No, we're like in. They, this, is, we're shop, this is a hard start. It must have been like a... um, Like... The rotative stock. The rotative stock because yeah. all the baskets were like gone. And I was like, what the fuck? That's so like, weird. I was like, I've never it was seen, so empty. I'm, I've never seen Audi like that. Like, Dude, inflation's hit Audi. Yeah. It's just like fucking $400 for a fucking <laughs> bag of chips. Yeah. It's getting that way though. Holy shit. Welcome back, champions. Um, episode 74 of your favorite podcast, our favorite podcast, the one that only Potty on the Rocks, the number one shit talking podcast. In Belgium. Yeah. Among other places. Apparently. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Shout out to all you um, new listeners and old listeners. If you don't know, um, we your host, Connor and Jackson. Jack, that's it. I forgot. My bad. Um, I don't know if you want to be your slave name or not. Yeah. Well, Jacumbi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's mine. Um, Cameron. Cameron. Yeah, Cameron. And <laughs> Cameron. And what's your... He just called you Jacko, didn't he? Yeah. He you got was, your name right. Yeah. Why well, um, was I Cameron? Speaking of <laughs> Cameron, the guy who came up with that name, Timmy, shout out to you and shout out to Paris again, the yeah. subscribers on the OnlyFans. Yeah, the Ti- OnlyFans Ti- we Timmy's um, trial came up and he paid for the... Hey, <laughs> on your Timbo. Really appreciate yeah. it, mate. I hope you enjoy the extra exclusive content we're sending out your way. Mm. Um... Yeah. Thanks, guys, for listening, and that we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, have a good one. Cheers for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, now we've got to go straight into the um, Patriots yeah. only part of the show. <laughs> Everyone's like, "What?" It's only like gone for like two minutes. Yeah, just, oh, we well. just paywall everything. Half the episode's the intro, like we, the actual. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we just start running ads. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, like, oh yeah, we do a highlight reel, but the highlight reel is just like the whole episode. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. So how was your week? What? Um, it was actually really, like, it was really good. Um, so at the time of this episode coming out, it'll be a week past, but uh, it was Blues on Broad Beach. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't know, I'm now a security guard. So, you don't tell us every five fucking seconds. Yeah, exactly. I do. Um, I'm a mortgage broker, yeah. bro. If you don't know, I'm in finance. <laughs> tell your friends I'm in finance. Um, but, yeah, so I work uh, at a venue called the Lucky Squire in Broad Beach. And they had a stage inside the venue. Yeah. So, so like, a lot of people, like, when they printed out the timetables. It was all free in that, eh? Yeah, all free, which cool. is actually really awesome. And Except it just, for Fat Freddy's Drop. Huh? Fat Freddy's drop weren't free apparently. Oh, the really? one band I wanted to see was the one you had to pay for. And I was like, yes, nah, miss me. Yeah, wow. Surely they played at Fat Freddy's. <laughs> no, you reckon that'd be funny actually. They should. They should have. That no would be way fucking that hilarious. They shouldn't have played. No, they had like a full. They were in the back where like the where like the beach I think was because they had like you had to get tickets to get in there. I was oh, like, fuck, okay. that's annoying because it used to be free every other year. Yeah, and they're like some fucking shitty Mary band. Like, mm. there hasn't had like a song come out in, like ten years. It's like, why are they charging? Yeah. Um, but, you know, but yeah, is. so was working. Um, yeah, there had three other guards on Friday and Saturday night. It was pretty. Um, it was pretty cruisy. Like the majority are all um, middle age. Yeah, that's to, chill to older people. So you don't really get the ruffians that far up. Mm. Like the only issue is, and this is this is it's so annoying. Is um. At the venue that I'm at and the venues around, they don't have a toilet on site. Yeah, yeah. They all share like one yeah. community toilet thing. And after 9.30 p.m., legally, we have to scan IDs. Yeah, yeah. Not just look at them. Did we talk about this last week? Um, possibly, but like... I'm going to, there's yeah, a reason yeah, why go, I'm getting into yeah. it. So we, legally we have to, otherwise we cop a fine. Yeah. We'll probably lose the contract. Yeah. And the company, the, sorry, the venue yeah. 
cops are fine. And being middle-aged people, they don't expect... Yeah, they don't bring their IDs and shit out. With they them. don't bring their yeah, IDs. Yeah, like 40, yeah. And that's the, that's the big issue. For one, I don't know why anyone's leaving the house without ID. It just doesn't make sense. I always bring mine, but like... Just because it's easy to keep on my phone, I'm usually buying alcohol if I'm going out. Exactly. Like, it's just easier to have it. But the thing is, it's like, let's just say something happened, something went down. Yeah. It was like a mass murder. Yeah. Whatever. How are they going to identify the bodies? Whatever. If you have- Because we're famous from a podcast we do. No, not us. Oh, yeah. You mean those plebs. The old people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway- How is Janine going to get identified? <laughs> exactly. Um- and that's when the abuse started. Yeah. <laughs> and They're I'm, like, like, did you have Karens and shit? Um, Karens and Craigs going yeah, off? But because in, intoxication as yeah. well, it just did not make, like some guy- What's the new cunt? I'm old enough to be so, your father. That's exactly what <laughs> yeah. people say to me. So people are trying to leave through the back door, which is the, where, to go to the toilet. Yeah. But once they leave, so before- They nine, can't come back in. Yeah, before yeah. 9.30, that door opens back up. Yeah. After nine thirty, doors locked. Yeah, it's the same as at the grand. You got to enter from the one spot. Yeah, and they and then they like they're trying to come back through the door. I'm like, nah, guys, you guys got to go around. And then because it's nine thirty, there's so many people trying to come in now. There's a massive line. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, are you fucking serious? I've been here for four hours. I've been buying drinks all night, mate. Like, come on, you fucking seen me? I'm like, I don't like, I don't care. Yeah, it's a shit place to put it though. It's, like, it's so. Do we have a sign being like on the door? Yep. Okay, that's fine then. Like, but you're an idiot if you don't read the sign. It's so fucking frustrating, like explaining it, and they're like, oh, so, so I can just come back through this door and show you my ID. I'm like, sorry, that's not how it works. You have to go around, wait in line. They'll give you a stamp, and then they go, can you just give me a stamp now? I'm like. It's not how it works. So if you were to like, if you're already in the bar, can you go to the front door first and be like, hey bro, can I get a stamp? Um, On like, the bathroom. Be, if you were aware of it, you could probably go up to the front as soon as we bring out the equipment yeah. and be like, can you please scan this so I can get a stamp so later on when I go to the toilet? Yeah. That would be perfectly fine. But it's just because a lot of people go out to the toilet and they don't um, they don't know yeah. again there is signs at yeah, the door yeah. that say it but people don't know and they leave mm. and then they're trying to come back in doesn't open up so they walk around or they call someone to yeah. open up the door then we tell them you can't do that and then that's when they flip their shit and because there's so many people doing that they go back around and because like we're just pulling out the equipment to do the scanning like everyone starts lining up then there's more people coming and usually when you see a line, you're like, oh, this looks busy. We're going to go in here. So the line yeah. gets bigger and bigger. And it's just constantly throughout the night. And so many people, yeah. It sounds like a shit show, eh? Like, what if, like, you and the boys are having drinks? You take you out for a cheeky purse. Your palm is still single table. Your beer's there. The line's 45 minutes long. You just fucked? Yeah, you're fucked. That sucks, bro. And Fuck that bar. And, it, and it's <laughs> so much. It's such a shit, like, such a th shit thing. Because, like, I'm just trying to say to them, like, I'm just doing my job. And like you, they, I'm trying to, I resonate with them because I know it's a shit. Yeah, it's a shit thing. It's so, like, it's a yeah, shit like, You need to take a piss because you're drinking, drinking beers. Yeah. Like. Even the venue manager was saying to the customers, he's like, I, I really understand guys. Like, it's not ideal, but yeah. he's like, there's nothing we can do about it because if we let you back in and something happens, whatever, and you haven't been scanned into the system, yeah, we will get in trouble. And, like, they still just, like, they just feel so entitled. Like, oh, yeah. I've spent so much money yeah. here. Anyway, um, Saturday night was when it all kicked off. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to talk about this. I, I assume. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a bit grey area, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just gonna, don't say any names or anything yeah. or defining traits of people. I'm going to say it anyway. What bad um, Indians I deal with? I don't, I don't, I don't, fucking, I don't call, I just call them Sangeet or fucking Irish Deep or Well, that's probably Gupta. their names. Though. Probably is, actually, yeah. hey. Varat. Varat? Colly? Yeah. Um, You're ging himself. So midnight come around and the bar's shut. Yeah. And we've told everyone that's it. Top like, also, down. we we stop drinks at like 11.30. Yeah. You have half an hour to chill. That's enough yeah. time to drink. But we've told everyone bar's shut. Venue is closed at 12. Yeah. As in everyone has to be off the premises. Yeah. Again, otherwise we cop fines. Yeah. This guy tries to come in at 11.55. I go, look, mate, we're closed. And he goes, no, I've just gone to the toilet. 
And I go, yeah, I understand that, but everyone's been asked to leave now. And he's like, yeah, but my wife's right there. And I go, yeah, I understand this, but like she's been asked to leave. She'll see well. her in like two seconds. And then he goes, I've got a full beer there. And, then, and I go, that's your fault. We stopped drinks 40 minutes ago. Yeah. And he goes, that's fucking bullshit. Get your manager down here. I just paid for that. And I was like, no, you didn't. You paid for it half an hour ago. Yeah, I was like, that's your fault. Like yeah. for having a full beer. And then he's like standing at the door, leaned on the door. And then another person comes up and they're like, oh, my friend's right there. Can you let me in? We're like, sorry, guys. Like no one's allowed on the venue. We're k- everyone's getting kicked out. Yeah. And he's starting to like get aggressive and he's like touching the other guard. And the other guard's like, that's assault, mate. You cannot touch me. And um, this guy's black, by the way. Yeah. Um, being really aggressive. Like Re- what type of black? Um, like Fijian. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, he's starting to get... He's like, can you just go tell them that like I've been kicked out? And I was like, yeah. The other two guards are letting everyone know. Like that- they'll be there in like two minutes. Yeah. Um, anyway, this, this other pommy guy, he's still going off. He's like, I've still got my beer in there. I want a refund. And I want to talk to your manager. Blake being my manager. Yeah. Um, sorta. My supervisor. Comes to the door and he goes, look, mate, we're telling everyone to leave. Now you need to fuck off. <laughs> and um, the guy goes, the guy goes, excuse me? Excuse me? And Blake goes, step 1.5 metres away from the premises and you're off site. Thanks, cunt. So something <laughs> like that and walks away. And then the pommy guy goes... It's just like starting like the worst shit as well. The pommy it's guy, fucking hilarious. But Blake just walked off. Yeah, and like the pommy, fuck, guys. Just, like, the pommy guy goes, "Did that fat cunt just call me a cunt?" And I go, "Sort of being a cunt, aren't you?" <laughs> and he goes, "I'm a police officer." And I go, "Well, then you should know the way that you're act, you're acting right now. Yeah, is not like, you know, um, reasonable. Yeah." And then he's like, go on, get your manager down here right now. And I was like... That was my manager. I was like, the thing is, if the venue manager came down, he's going to say the exact same thing. You're not allowed inside. And he goes, call QPS. I want them down here now. And I was like, they're going to say the exact same thing. They'll probably take you away. (laughs) Yeah. And then then he kept... He keeps like, you call the police, bro. Like... We keep saying about the alcohol. I I just bought that drink, and I'm like, "You're too intoxicated to come in anyway." And then he goes, "Yeah, intoxicated, intoxicated, you fat cunt." And I go, <laughs> I just, "I'm just laughing." And he goes, "Get that fucking smile off your face." And I go, "Okay, buddy, like whatever." And he goes, "What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do?" And I was just like, "Oh, bite your tongue, bite your <laughs> fucking tongue." Anyway, um, he sort of he sort of moves away. Oh, actually, no. He go, he goes to show his badge. Yeah, and it's illegal to show your badge if you're if you're not working. Yeah, legit. It's 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 um. What's it called? It's, it's um, like threatening. Yeah, someone. it's threatening. Yeah. And um, the other guard standing next to me goes, "You should know you can't do that." And he goes, "Yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky." And like puts it back in his pocket. And I was just like, "What the fuck?" Oh, uh, anyway, the guy walks like a little bit away. His partner and stuff start to come out. Friends. And um, he goes, this fat cunt just called me a cunt. And his wife looks at me and goes, did you call him a cunt? I don't <laughs> like that word. And I was like, no, I didn't, I didn't say that. And then she's like, oh, I believe him. He's a police officer. He wouldn't lie. So he was an actual cop. Yeah. And I was just like, well, the way your, your husband is acting, as a police officer, I was like, he's acting like a cunt. She goes, oh, how dare you, how dare you, blah, blah, blah. And then more people start coming out and they're like, thank you so much, um, like, for tonight. And then, like, he's yelling at him. He's like, don't talk to the fat cunt. He's a fucking wanker. He's a <laughs> and I'm just laughing and he goes, get that smirk off your face. It was how old was this guy? 50s. Oh, okay, yeah. Maybe mid-40s, yeah. yeah. And I'm just, like, laughing. And I'm just like, yeah, right. Right, mate. See you later. See you later. <laughs> so funny, man. And then, oh. yeah, Sunday night was... it was. It's weird because it's so chill. But um, I feel like... People go harder on Sunday sessions. I was about to say, because it's the end of the festival. Mm. It's all wrapping up. People are maybe getting a little too drunk. Saw this 
these people making out all night. <laughs> and I was just like, what the hell? Like, that's, um, yeah, okay. Um, I wasn't the person to do it. The other guy on shift kicked him out. Yeah. Um, too intoxicated. Anyway, I see them outside for a while and I'm like, I'm, you know, as a security, you have to do it. I'm observing them. They're outside the venue, so there's nothing I can actually do. And I'm like, fuck, he's like, he's fully going off at her. Anyway, the um, venue, like, bar manager comes out and he starts talking to her because he's walked off. Um, He started talking to her and he's like, hey, like, are you all good? Like, I've just noticed, you know, you guys having a bit of back and forth. Do you want to come inside where it's safe? Um, And... She was like, yeah, I only met him tonight. <laughs> Bro just goes and insane. Like, but we were all thinking like That's they a were a couple. couple. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, we see him just lurking around for a bit. So we call um, we call like the other two guards who are walking around the whole of Broad mm. Beach. Um, they're part of our company. Yeah. And they sort of come over just to monitor the situation. They're looking for him. They couldn't find him. And then he comes back yeah, and he's like lurking around and he's starting to get in like other people's faces on the street. Yeah. And um, I'd, I noticed him start to walk towards the side door. Mm. And I'm just looking at him. And as soon as he opens that door, I just fucking go as fast as I can walk over. And I just like sort of give him a shove. I'm like, nah, mate, you're gone. Yeah. You're gone. You've already been asked to leave. And he's like stumbling. He's like, me? <laughs> like me? <laughs> me? Are you talking about me? I'm like... Who the fuck else are you? Like, I said, you have to leave. Yeah. I was like, there is no other you here. No person. I was like, it's you. And then he's like stumbling and he's like, what have I done? What have I done? I was like, you know what you've done, mate. I was like, I saw what you were doing to that lady. And then um, I, I walk I walk towards the other guards and we're all standing at the door and he sort of swoops like he's coming towards the front entrance now. And I'm just <laughs> Bro's like, like, I'll check another angle. Well, there's this. like four guards standing there though. <laughs> and then he and we're all just sort of looking at him like because you s- you've got to watch your back. You don't yeah, yeah. you don't know. And um he looks at us and he goes, What? What? Why are you guys being so aggressive towards me? <laughs> and we're like, This isn't aggressive, buddy. <laughs> like if you want aggressive, keep keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> and anyway, um, yeah, he's like he must have been looking for it because he's like looking yeah, over yeah. the walls and everything, and um, yeah, it was just a fucking that's creepy weird as fuck situation. Yeah, but yeah, that was my weekend. It was pretty. Yeah. It was so hectic because it was like finishing at like two a.m. You hear the music and stuff. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, it was like um, there was there was some there was some singers. Or artists that were up there and they were like they had the crowd pumping, man. Yeah, yeah. They had like the biggest draw, like from the main stage when that act would finish, so many people would flock over to like see this one act. Yeah. And she was on Thursday night and then Saturday night. And fuck man, it was like shoulder to shoulder, like there's barely any room to move. She was going off and then there's like the next acts that, that come on and they're like they don't even sing, they're just harmonica and fucking banjo. Yeah, that's pretty sick. No, but it was sort of like it's so like, many people left. Yeah, like you've just gone down to a red, yeah. It happens like that though. Like you have like a super good act and then the next person comes on shit. But I kept saying, I was like, I'm sort of glad like that happened because if that crowd was there when we were closing, it would have been so so hard to deal with. And um, But yeah, Saturday night was the busiest. Fucking got home at 2 a.m. on fr- on Saturday morning and yeah. Sunday morning. It was just... Um, Hectic as, but yeah, back to normal scheduling this week, which will be fun. Oh, good, good. Except for the Friday because we got a wedding. Yeah, yeah, that's coming up. Um, yeah, my weekend was pretty, um, pretty chill, bro. I had a little brother stay over. Shout out to you, Cole. I'm pretty sure you watch, um, bro. I was like, we went to um, time zone on Friday night. Oh, yeah, no. Bro, time zone's fucking expensive, can't? Yeah. And like, it doesn't help that like Lucy and Cole are there, like playing Crossy Road. I'm like, bro, it's a fucking phone game. Oh. Like, we spent ten dollars <laughs> on Crossy Road, and also they die within like three seconds. It was ridiculously fast, it's and you only get one life. It's Crossy Road, pretty much like Frogger. It's Frogger, yeah. yeah. It's a game on your phone, right? Yeah. It's like all blocks, but dude, like you think it's two dollars fifty a play, right? And you get tickets for playing it, but you think you'd get more than one life or something? No, bro. If you could, if you just push life. it and you die straight away, you're done, and that's two fifty gone. Oh my! And I was like, why are we playing this game? It's a phone game, like, um. Yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty cool. It was really expensive, and um, 
some cool shit there though. There's some fun games there and that. Um, yeah. Then bro just wanted to play Fortnite. Like I had plans the next day. I was like, maybe we'll go for a swim. Maybe we'll do the beach, do whatever. He's like, nah, man, just play Fortnite. And hot chips. Yeah, Fortnite and hot chips. Yeah, it was pretty good, honestly. I was like, a pretty fucking, it's usually what I do on my Saturday alone. Yeah. So it's kind of like, it worked out pretty well. I just play different shitty games. <laughs> He's like, you're like, what do you want to do today? He's like, um, do you want to just get like a case of beer or something? Yeah. Do you yeah. want to do you want to drink like 18 beers while I play Fortnite and chill? And I'm like, Dad, dude, that sounds awesome. Let's do that, <laughs> dude. Yes. He's like, yeah, sweet. <laughs> and I'm like, thanks, bro. I'm like, <laughs> Cole, you're so cool. He's I love you, little up, brother. He's looking after you. Yeah. I'm like, do you want to go pick up Lucy from work, Cole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just like, gonna play con. Yeah, I'm not gonna come for a drive either. Yeah, can you just give him a tram and go pick her up? Give her a keys. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was like that. Though. I was like, bro, I'm gonna pick Lucy up from where do you want to come. He's like, nah, I'm alright. And I'm like, okay, sick. He's like, nah. sick. I guess just play Fortnite then. It was really funny though because the Friday night when we got home, we like made this bed up for him and stuff, and hung out with him for a bit, played a little bit of video games, and then I was just like saying to him, I was like, all right, well, me and Lucy are going to go to bed. Like, you get the like. You can play for a little bit longer because we were shattered as we had a big day. I was like, you can play for as long as you want, you know, just like you go to bed at a normal time and that. Like, I'm not going to turn it off or anything. And I came out in the morning and like I was in bed just waiting for Luce to wake up. I couldn't hear anything out there, so I didn't think he was awake. And Bro had been up for like an hour already. So it was like he was up at like 7 a.m. And I'm like, oh, yeah, sweet as, like just chilling on his iPad. I come up here and I was like, oh, hey, man, like when did you get to bed? He goes, oh, probably like five minutes after you guys went to bed. I was like, oh, sweet, okay. Then, I, like, then by the way, we've never played Fortnite on this Xbox. Yeah. So we hadn't had the battle pass done at all. Oh. I checked the battle pass Cunts at like rank 12 okay. And I'm like bro was grinding all night On the battle pass Oh so he lied Bro was straight yeah, up okay. lied man There's no way He was like I would do like five hours after you I'm like bro we played like two games at night And yeah. we didn't live up at all And bro was like rank 12 Like <laughs> new items on Like bro's like blitzed up And I'm like dude what the fuck Like bro literally Cole I caught you out Did you check your bank card? Did he buy any? Oh bro that'd be scary Oh fuck actually Cause it is attached like my account is attached to it. He could have just... Lucky he's not too small. You got to worry about that, actually, eh? That's fucked. Yeah. I just come back and it's $1,000 gone off my car because he bought, like, the full battle pass, the Billie <laughs> Eilish fucking outfit, like... No, nah, he bought the fucking suit from Ready Player One. The haptic suit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no, he's bought, like... He somehow bought, like, the fucking... I don't know. He's bought, like, 10 years of Xbox Live <laughs> on my account. Who <laughs> might think that, that, that family that bought the fucking... <laughs> Twenty thousand dollars worth of Disney Plus, bro. <laughs> bro, it's like they got they got the gift cards. Oh, I thought That's this was so for funny. Disney World. No, yeah. <laughs> no. Like, but we can use it at Disney World, right? You're like, yeah, if you want to watch fucking movies there, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> On your iPad or something. Uh, so That's funny. so funny. Um, <laughs> fucking hell! Like, have you ever made like, for me the only time i ever buy shit that i don't actually like ever use is i'll either buy like shoes mm. like they look so cool and i'll never wear them again yeah or video games because mm. they're on special i'll be like fuck yeah that game looks sick i'll buy it i play it for like 10 minutes and go fuck i hate this yeah that's the only thing what about you do you have any other bad purchases mm. cold every year yeah bro legit actually i played this one quite a lot i didn't like it but i just because i paid full price i wanted to make sure i played enough yeah. of it but um Oh, bro, COD's so trash. Yeah. I mean, I haven't played... Honestly, I haven't played Xbox in a while. Like, I downloaded Destiny 2 the other day because Mitchell and Koopy are playing it. I keep downloading it, playing it for like half an hour, and then go, eh. That's what I was about to say. Oh. I I was in the first mission... Because I'm going, oh, boys, invite me. And they're like, oh, you're like not at a strong enough level. <laughs> and I was like... Bro, Dallas is going to play with the boys and he has to play by himself. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just do a couple of missions. And like, got... Halfway through the first, and I was like, "This is fucking boring, bro. Like, this is so boring." And then like Cooper's like, "You just got to grind for a bit," and I was like, "Nah, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you guys." Eh? Cause <laughs> I was like, "I'm not, I'm not fucking, I'm not like grinding on a game that came out what fucking three years ago." Yeah, now. legit. There's no point. That's how I felt with um when we all got uh Ghost Recon. And like I was, I was doing something, so I didn't buy it when it came out. I bought it like a week later, and you guys were already into it. I jumped in with you guys, and you're all like five, six levels ahead of me. I'm like, yeah, I'll just join in, boys. And like, I can't even kill enemies. Yeah, I'm just like sh- racing a whole magazine on someone. I'm like, what the fuck? Honestly, just keep getting downed. Like, it was so shit. Honestly, that game was so fun to play. I love it, bro. I still play it single player. Yeah, like, it's well, so much I fun. I tried to get back into it not that long ago, but it's just. 
Wildlands like is fun, better. Funnel with the sc- yeah, Wildlands yeah. is way better. Bro, I used to love Wildlands. Point. I played that game like hundreds of hours, but that was my favorite game for the so story's long. Story so good. Yeah, Breakpoint is just shit. Like it's, it, it feels like a DLC. Yeah, and like fighting drones and shit isn't fun. Just because the main guy comes back. Yeah, yeah. Like the main villain guy, or no? He used to be good, eh? Yeah, but he's only in he's only in a DLC for Wildlands. It's Shane. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. Like I like Jump Around and shit. He's in so much shit. Yeah, but yeah, I I um I actually loved Wildlands like yeah. so much better than Breakpoint, bro. It was so good. Like and like you played DLC for Wildlands, Fallen Ghost um, DLC. Yeah, I think, I, I think it's literally the story of Breakpoint, but better. Yeah. Okay. Like you get you get down in a helicopter and you got to like fucking hunt old like old ghosts that have like gone AWOL. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's pretty much the same story as Breakpoint, but better. See, like, I'd love to start that game again, but, like, have a squad do it. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, it's, yeah, it's all, all right playing single player, but, like, playing as a squad, because there's just so much, like, funny shit you could do yeah. as well. They also updated it, like, way after launch with heaps of different stuff. Like, yeah. they brought, like, two DLC seasons, which are pretty good, and they brought out, this is Breakpoint, by the way, and they brought out, um like, a new faction, like, it's, like, faction stuff. Like, you go to each area and you liberate it, yeah. kind of like Far Cry, yep. which was pretty cool, because they added new weapons and shit into it. Mm. Um, but the main thing I thought was cool was they took away the gear system. You can turn it off. Yeah, I saw so that. you don't have to keep grabbing new guns at a higher level. You can just play it like normal breakpoint. Yeah, we'll play it like Wildlands, which was so much better. If they had that at launch, I reckon people would have loved it. Yeah, well, because when I re-downloaded the game to play it again, yeah, that was the first thing I seen. I was like, no, nah, I was like, you used to ha- have to grab like the different. Yeah, it was gear, like varieties. it was loot based. Yeah, yeah it you was had to like, like grab. You, had, you just kept changing your fucking armor and stuff every two seconds, mm. and that was like so annoying. That was the worst part of me. It was like, <clears throat> it was shit having to like every two minutes, and it wasn't easy to do either. Yeah, we just like quick new thing. I'm like, bro, I don't want to stat check every five seconds, and it was like that because you grab gear so often. Yeah, yeah, fuck. I think they're bringing out another one. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna make it like that though, or they're gonna make it like the old Ghost Recons. No, no, it's there's another um, it's another like one like that. Open world. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw the trailer for it not that long ago. Sick. Like just like a tiny sneak peek. Yeah, sneak cool. Peek, so. That'd be sick. Because yeah. they've been saying for a while they're gonna do another Ghost Recon, but it's gonna be like this like future um future warrior and stuff. Mm. Like the original ones are pretty cool with squad base, but they're not as good. Like yeah, Wildlands and Breakpoint are just so different. Um, but yeah, well, let's get into our first topic. Yeah. We made a joke about the, the whole episode being the intro, and it kind of was. Yeah. Um. Actually, what else I done my weekend? Oh yeah, I didn't get into this actually. I'm pretty hungover on the show. My voice is a bit hoarse. Went saw a band last night. Got pretty drunk. Um. Yeah, did some gay shit. Um, like usual. Care to explain? No. Nah. That's for the um. That's for the afters. All right. Well, I got <laughs> I got a bit of like conspiracy theory to go into. Ooh, I got one too actually. With NASA, NASA, NASA. So it's um, like Lucy saying fucking sunny music instead of Sony. <laughs> She's been saying for so I'm just gonna get this real quickly. She's been saying for like for like however long we've been together, saying sunny music, and I assume it's like she's like, oh, Michael Jackson owned half of Sunny Music, and I was like, oh, sick. It must be like some random black brand. You know what I mean? And then I found out yesterday, it all made sense. On Saturday, she was meeting Sony. And I was like, no way. I thought you were totally, totally different this whole time. But Sony Music. Alos. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. She's like, you're stupid, not me. The one who says Sunny Music. When it's literally the most easy phonically, phonetically like, <laughs> like sounded word. It's so easy. It's like, it's exactly how it would sound. Yeah. So many you in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna get into yes. yeah. Um, so Na- NASA, 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 little NASA, NASA X, NASA. Ah, uh, who cares? NASA. Um, so, did you? Apparently, they started in the ocean when they first started. Right, they started in the ocean. Right, like a, like a deep sea base or something. I don't know if they had a base underground, but I'm saying like before it was space expedition, it was. Ocean expedition. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But this is where the conspiracy theory is. It's like, what did they see down there to like get them to be like, no, nah, let's go 
Out. Yeah, there's a few things, bro. Like we've mapped out more of the stars than we have of the sea. Well, and, and yeah. this is where it gets further. This is like, like majority of the ocean hasn't been explored. Yeah, like which is crazy. It's pretty fucking weird, eh? It's wild. Like, you, have you seen those photos of like bright blue whales with these massive cuts on them and shit? And they're like from like. They're yeah. like they're like they're, they're from creatures that's just as big. They think they're giant squids, but who knows? They're still fucking pulling up deep sea fish. They're insanely big or look yeah. super weird. Like that's what I'm saying. Like so, like did they see something they didn't? I don't know. Didn't fuck with, and they were just like, they're probably like yeah, fuck yeah. That. Let's leave this planet. Yeah, <laughs> let's try and find like, a way. Mm, let's get out of here. Let's get planet. fucking out of here. Yeah. yeah. Um. More on NASA, NASA, whatever. Um. With the Grand Canyon, right? Sorry. Um, you, is am, I, am I on camera? I am on camera. Sorry. Lucy just wanted to grab her laptop. Want to come say hello? She, no, you get your nipples out. Don't do that. You'll get, you'll get them too horny. <laughs> Tim's like, I want to see boy feet. <laughs> um, Sorry, Tim. Love so you. apparently there's a place in the Grand Canyon, right, where you're allowed to go and you're allowed to explore the Grand Canyon, but as soon as you go to this a certain area, there's like, um, like military, and they're like, "Yeah, okay, yeah, no, you can't can't go this way." And they're like, "Why? <laughs> like, why not?" And they're like, "Yeah, nah, classified, classified." And um, yeah, it's just one of those things. It's like that's that's weird. That's very weird. that's weird. Like, you know, it's like government cover ups are so cool. I love conspiracies. I never used to be a conspiracy theorist, but like now I'm getting a little bit older, and I don't trust the government at all. Like after COVID and shit, after how easy it was to go, okay, fuck you guys. I know you have your freedoms, you pay taxes and shit, but no, you can't leave your house or we will find you. Yeah, exactly. You can't do what you're legally allowed to do usually. We will find you. And I was like, all right, well, the government can do what the fuck they want. They're probably doing other fucked up shit. Mm -hmm. I looked more into it. You know, like the Las Vegas shootings? Yep. Like two M60 or I think it was M604, whatever the big machine guns are, like the big like, um, like, a, like a light machine guns. Mm -hmm. They went, two of them went missing from an army base local and they couldn't f figure out where they were. They still don't know where they were. Mm. Also... Eyewitness footage was saying they could hear that those guns sound like didn't tell like AR-15s. They sound like fucking M60s, and it was like all the all the shit points towards it being a fucking government cover-up job. Like the, like the people who shot Las Vegas. I thought up. it was a sniper. No, he was shooting like assault rifles at the windows. Okay. And he had like multiple guns, but it's like there's so many other things behind it as well. Like how could he have done this? Just, like they were shooting the, the fire rate, the hearing of the fire rate sounds different. Like. Yeah, people like yeah, it was definitely it. Like everything, it's like every terrorist attack was done by the government. I love a good conspiracy theory. I mean, it's the same as like Martin Bryant. Like, yeah, so many people say that like Australia used it to get away, take away the guns. Do you believe your uncle was um, like did it? No, nah. no. Nah. Well, see, this is the theory that I heard was like apparently the where he stood to like kill all the people. Mm. It was like you would have had to have like some really good experience in shooting, yeah, or military knowledge to get like everyone before to, they could run away. To have that precision to be standing exactly where he was, yeah. like where all the gun shells were around yeah. him, would have been like, yeah, because like you know most people. It is weird to think about that, eh? Like he killed like a few people, like yeah. right there, like yeah, and like I don't know, like a yeah. If you think about it, most people that are like mental like that are just going to go up and probably just go. Yeah. And just see how many they can get like but school like, shooters and shit. Yeah. But like this, Bro, you know, imagine being a school shooter and getting no kills. Ooh, just spray and pray. Bro. And when you got to reload, you fucking just get like tackled. You just get jacked by the PE teacher. Bro, he would jack your shit up too. Like maybe it was like Mr. Right or something. Yeah. Get fucked up, bro. That's right. Yeah. But yeah, fuck. I love a good conspiracy theory. Yeah. I don't know, it just makes me think, like, the whole NASA thing. It's just... Um, it is weird, man. Why did they start in the ocean and go... Well, it's before oh. space was, like, explorable, I guess. They had to explore something. Yeah, but then it's like, why stop? Like, the, there's, thing, like there's certain things about it. Like, it's easy to explore space than it is to explore the ocean because, like, the pressure and the, you get to the depths is so much harder. Like, people going down, you get the bends coming back up. Like, the pressure so gets so bad where it's so deep that like crushes you. I feel like it's almost the same up in space. There's no there's no pressure. Yeah, but, like... Lack of pressure is way easier to stabilise than it is with too much pressure. Mm. Which is why they have problems with it. It's way more... I mean, it's probably not more expensive. Like, getting out of the atmosphere seems to be super expensive. Like with fuel and stuff. 
Also, India, why the fuck are you going to space, bro? Feed your fucking people and get plumbing first. Like, priorities can't. <laughs> we are number one country in the world. No, you had the most people in the world. Doesn't mean number one. Do you want to know another conspiracy that's weird? What? I can't remember if it's like the exact diameter of the earth or the exact center of the earth. Like yeah. the coordinates or whatever. But it leads exactly to the pyramids of Giza. <laughs> which is so like... That's pretty fucking cool. Like the number is the exact coordinates of where... And it's just like, bro, that's... I don't know. That's weird. Just some things are just like, dude. Yeah. And well, most of the time when I, like, look up conspiracy theories, I just go down a rabbit hole. Yeah, you spend, like, six hours looking at them. Well, you think you're, like, you're like, like fuck. Like, there's iceberg just, videos. You're, like, fuck, my eyes are sore, bro. I've been scrolling for, like, 30 minutes, and you look at the time, you're, like, fuck, it's 4 a.m. <laughs> on a Tuesday. Yeah. What am I doing? I have work in two hours. Yeah, you, like, go to work, like, damn, big night, and you're, like, no, nah, I was just reading about fucking, like, Maddie McCann's appearance, eh? Yeah. Shit was wild. I think I solved it, eh? Yeah. I think you talking about that last night. I was, like, fuck, honestly, like... I reckon I could solve that shit. Give me, give me like fucking a month's paid leave, enough coke to fucking uh, Portuguese, bro. I'm solving Maddie McCann's murder. I just grabs some random like fifteen year old. I'm like, that's Maddie, bro. That's fucking Maddie. That's fucking She's like brown. Like, <laughs> I'm like, this is Maddie McCann. She's How like, old would she be now? Probably around like 12, 13, maybe fifteen. No, she was like two when she went missing. No, she was two. Wasn't she like fucking seven? No, nah, she was like two. No, no, we're getting this up real Jamie, quick. Jamie, look this shit up. Me, oh, I'm Jamie for this one. Just look up Maddie McCann, Madeline McCann. Because when she was, when was she taken? 2000 and. Um, oh, they found her. What the hell? <laughs> oh, they did. <laughs> Third of May, my birthday in 2007. What a sweet little birthday present that was. Start date. Start date? Disappearance of Maddie McCann. Is there an end date yet? No, she's still... Two thousand. Oh, she, she went was, missing... She was she, three. Okay, yeah. Wow, 2007. So what's that? How many... T- Wait, oh. what? Born 2003. Went missing May 2007. Okay. She wasn't four yet, I don't think. Yeah. She went, she went missing just before her birthday. Yeah. Okay. Bro, yeah, I was so funny when I was talking about because like she went missing in Portugal and people were like, no, nah, it was from fucking backwards country. I'm like, no, nah, it was like a nice place. Yeah. Okay. So she was, was that 2007, which was what? F- oh, no. Maths is not mathing. 17. Eight, nine, years ten. Ago? 10 17. Yeah. Oh, shit. So she'd be like 20. Fuck. She she's hot? legal. <laughs> we can say men of a can might be hot now. Yeah. That sounds fucked to say, but she probably would be a bit of a weapon. Good yeah. on her. She's probably like in fucking, I don't know, like some Romanian fucking sex dungeon. <laughs> nah. Bro, Andrew Tate did it, the dog. I mean, let me call her parents up. Like, I'm telling them, like, hey, just let you guys know. <laughs> She's dead. Bro, I feel bad. Imagine, like, the cops that were like, the parents fucking did it. And what if they didn't even do it? They're nah. just fucking retarded. Bro, the parents fucking done it. They definitely fucking did it, eh? Or they had something to do with it. They were just like, so fucking weird about it. They like, like owed, washing evidence and shit. They like owed money or something. Yeah. yeah well, was it you that told me or I saw this? Apparently when, apparently their like ice freezer was broken in their room. Yeah. And instead of telling maintenance, they took it to the dump themselves. And it was like, whoa, <laughs> no, Maddie McCann's of a dump. We <laughs> solved it. You heard it here first. <laughs> like, subscribe for more content. <laughs> no, but like, I. That's I, actually, you might have just solved the fucking Maddie like, McCann's disappearance. Bro, why do they not think of that? The fucking parents took an ice freeze at a hotel room. <laughs> Imagine you were just there and you're like, bro, why would you get the Bunnings trailer for? Oh, I did my, the fridge in my fucking hotel room is broken, so I might just go take it down for the mate. I'm like, bro, so, who the fuck does that? So many people That's in the- That's some lovely bone shit. So many people in the comments are like, of this video, they're like, who the fuck takes <laughs> the ice freezer? Like, that's the maintenance job. Bro, not- what are, what were they like? They- they come back to the hotel and like, where the fuck's the freezer? <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, it wasn't working, so we yeah. threw it away. Like, what? Imagine, like, the TV in the room, the remote doesn't work, so you just smash the TV and chuck it in the bin. Yeah, they're like, oh, we did we did your job for you. Like, don't like, worry, guys. Bro, I could have repaired but it. But our fucking daughter's missing. Yeah. Have you, have you like, seen her at all? What if... Okay, I've got another conspiracy theory, actually. What if... So for payback, the maintenance man took Maddie McCann because <laughs> she the parents stole her job. 
Well, yeah. He's like, you take my job, I'll take your fucking job. What's your job? Looking after your daughter. I'm taking your fucking daughter. Because when they took the fucking, um, the, yeah, I don't know, ice freezer or whatever <laughs> to the thing, they would have left the kids unattended. So yeah. they probably did just come in and just fucking take her. And Dude, like, yeah. Take my fucking ice machine, I take your fucking daughter. <laughs> yeah. That's fair in my book. Where I come from, that's how you do it. Yeah. I don't know why he's got an Indian British yeah. accent. Yeah. Like Portuguese people sound kind of like Spanish. Yeah, I don't know how to do Spanish. Yeah, it's Espanol. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was there the other week, but I don't remember how they talked because they don't talk English. Um, but fuck, man, I think we solved it. That's really weird. They must just not have found the ice machine. <laughs> but wouldn't you be like, why, did, <laughs> why do people still think they didn't do it? That's <laughs> fucking insane. Well, appar- apparently- That was like, yeah, yeah, we saw the mum and dad washing blood off themselves at a local bro, like, apparently shop. Apparently the, the day after- they like reported it. They were still going out on like walks and shit. Yeah. And they're like photog- photograph like- I've been at the beach and shit, just vibing. Yeah. And yeah. like smiling. And yeah. it's just like- well, And they had two other kids, didn't they? Yeah. It's like, in, like the, in those photos, they're not with the kids as well. It's like the kids are still at the- <laughs> <laughs> They really did it again. They're like, fuck. They're like, oh shit. Yeah, that'll be right. Because they're on a holiday with friends as well. That was the thing. Yeah. But what if what if Maddie McCann got like actually possessed by a demon, and they had to like it was like some like evil dead shit. They had to kill Maddie McCann, and you know how in movies you never see what happens after the ending. Like, how are you going to explain why all your friends are dead? Yeah, you know what I mean. That's probably what happened. She got possessed by a demon. The families had to band together and kill Maddie McCann. Try and <laughs> she stopped possessing her. Nah, she floated up into the ether, and they just can't talk about. I've it got a because no one believed them. I've got a theory. Right. This is a this is honestly something I thought about. It's like maybe when they left her unattended with like two twins, the the twin babies probably fucking woke up crying. Then she probably fucking like woke up and yeah. then was like disorientated, didn't know where she was as being like a three year old kid. Possibly fucking I don't know. Took something out of the parents' fucking medication. Yeah. Or, or maybe like fucking somehow fell and slipped or even yeah. fucking somehow left the room. But like, I don't know. If so, a theory that I have is, yeah, that she like died, like overdosed or. Yeah. Or just like choked head. or something. Yeah, like, smoked her yeah. head. Smacked her head. Yeah. And died. And then the parents just had to. Yeah, them. they like freaked out because they, were, they, so would they were doing the wrong they thing. They would have gotten in trouble regardless. Yeah, yeah. They would, yeah. They would have got done for neglect because they were like lifted the baby alone and dies. You know, they so they, they, they made this big elaborate plan. They probably didn't think like it would become worldwide news. They just thought it would get solved in Portugal and they'll go back to England or wherever it would be yeah. fine. But then it's like the world takes it and it's like fuck, 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 fuck. They had to keep doubling Is down. Is Portugal corrupt at all? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, like they could corrupt. have even paid the police to be like they probably yeah, would have look at like well, it wasn't us because then like it got international exposure and like heaps of other people. This became a true crime crime podcast. Mm. Um, this like, episode's a true crime yeah, podcast. Yeah, um, like it became like like the world was looking into it and like they had like detectives from all over the world coming to help out and they freaked out because like I said this before in the podcast, I'm pretty sure. Like she had this like stuffed teddy bear. Mm. It was called Cuddle Cat, um, and like it was this little toy that she always had with her, right? And that was with her the night she went missing. So it had like DNA evidence on it. They, they got, the mum got caught washing it because they went to like mm. bring in evidence that, oh, why is it like, there's nothing on it. Why is it washed? It's, oh, I was freaking out and I like I washed it. Like I wasn't thinking straight. I was like, bro, why are you washing the DNA evidence off of things? There's so much that just put Like why did, why did you need to the wash her soft toy? You know what I mean? There must, yeah. It was like blood and Bro, and that mum, like the way she like talks, the dad's got like like resentment and shit in his eyes, but the mum's like a textbook fucking sociopath. Yeah, well, I've seen an interview where they're like sitting there and they they don't even say anything, They but like, sorry, the interview doesn't say anything and they're like, look, we don't know where our daughter is, but like if we did, we wouldn't tell you anyway. And it's like, what? Wh- why would you say that? Like, what? As a parent, like... That's not even something to joke. Like, you couldn't joke in that situation, for one. Yeah. But, like, I don't know, man. It's just so fucked Bro, up. it's wild. There's so the much other- that just points to them. Yeah. Like, and, and with what you said about the neglect as well, they never got in trouble for neglect. Yeah, no. Yeah, I the think everyone two, just gave them a pass. The other two kids should have been taken off them. 
Well, yeah, like they they did get in trouble for it because I remember people were bashing the media. Like originally, they're like, well, "Who leaves their kids alone in a resort?" It's like, "Oh, it was safe. You know, we were going down to the beach. We used to all the time. Like, it's all safe there. It's like it's not safe. Nowhere's safe. You're in a foreign fucking country. Yeah. Like nowhere's safe. Even if you were at home, it's not safe. Yeah, like if you're like, I, I suppose in an apartment like this, it's pretty safe. But I would still never leave my my baby unattended in my room. And just to go down to the, go and have drinks downstairs, you know what I mean? Mm. It's just something you don't do. It's just weird as fuck. Like, why are you leaving your children unattended? But like, I don't know. I'm like, just, don't have kids if you want to go on holidays like that. I'm car. thinking of my son, right? Like, let's say I left him for a nap and I went down to the pool here. Yeah. Right? He's old enough, if he hopped out of bed, yeah. he could push that chair to the balcony and climb up it. Do a Connor Clinton situation. But, like, he could climb up it. Yeah. I don't know if he'd be able to climb over, but still, like, that's He so can open drawers and shit. He'd be in the fucking under sink Gatorade, like... Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've got fucking locks and shit on now. Yeah. Shit, but, like, you know, there's the scissors right there. You just fucking grab them and fucking... Bro, yeah, like, dude, they're trying... Like, babies literally try and speed run life, eh? Well, like like they're just like it's surgery. They just go for the worst object they can. Well, they'll grab that shit, but then they'll like go see like there's a hole over there in the wall, so they like yeah, you know, try and put like, plug it into the PowerPoint. <laughs> Babies just do. They just like try to die, hey, and they always seem to fall <laughs> with their big ass heads and hit like the corners of things, like the worst spot to hit. <laughs> yeah, they're just like I don't know. They're just testing. It's like trial and error. I like, oh, does this hurt? Must yeah, yeah. Myself or you know, yeah. Shout out to Jesse K. He told me a story one time when he was a kid. He got like into his um he got like into his dad's like razor blades or something. Or like his like fucking like razor. Like, oh sorry, no, it was a disposable razor. And he brushed his teeth with it. Oh like, like a toothbrush and just cut the fuck out of all his gums. Oh Yeah, bro. Cunt. I was telling the story, I was like, that's fart can't. Oh. Brush teeth. Oh, that's Brushed probably teeth. worse than Maddie McCann bro. going missing. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks for you, Maddie. You probably got fucking sold into like sex. And you know, that's funny though, because the worst case scenario is that her parents killed her. Sorry, the best case scenario. Like that's the one you want to be true. Because it's, it's less sad. There's no way they're selling a three-year-old into sex slavery. I think people, I don't know, bro. Like, do they train them up? Like, and I'm not trying to make it, it could sound be like funny. Someone, wanted, someone who can't have kids is really rich wants a baby, you know what I mean? Yeah, it could okay. be anything. I don't know. I'm not in that kind of world, yeah, so I don't know. Three year old kid, they would just grow up, like be like. Oh, All I know is there's a market for anything. Who's this weird Madeline McCann chicken that's gone missing? Oh, imagine that. You like, do you see Madeline McCann come in the movie on the on like the TV, and you're like, fuck, that's pretty. Like, she looks like me. But then you, what you would do is your parents. You, they should do the parents wise. I would like gaslight the kid. And be like, oh my god, you look just like Manny McCann. You actually do. That's crazy. Look how much he looks like Manny McCann. Yeah. And you just condition him to think that. So when she goes to school and people go, you look like Manny McCann. You're like, yeah, I know. And you need to have a really good backstory. Like, the kid can't be adopted. Yeah. It's got to be strap your kid, yeah. you know? You'd dye her hair and also you'd make her wear contacts. Actually, nah, because she had like just, she had like one like detached chrom- chromia or what it is, chromia. So her eye was weird. Yeah, okay. Which made it very obvious if she was still alive. People were like, oh, we would have found her like straight away. Um, so they still searching for it? I don't because it think, didn't say. I that think they it's still stopped. an open case. They didn't say that it stopped. Yeah, it's an it's, open case. It said started. Well, because no one's even been charged for it, so it's like a, it's like a cold case, but it's still open. Mm. Um, imagine like eighty years. Yeah, like Manny McCann officially must be dead. Yeah. Jeez. No, well, yeah, because they're like, well, she's probably old enough to be dead. Yeah, like, so. we'll just call her now. And then, like, her, 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 like, brother, her other sisters that are a little bit younger are like, no, you can't call off the search. It's like, she's 97 years old. See, this is, like, I can't wait for them to make a, oh, they probably already have made a movie about it. I watched the Netflix documentary. I don't know if there's actual movie. There probably is. I think that, I think there is one. The Taken or whatever it was. We talked about before. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. I was going to say, like, that would be, like, I hate movies that, like, a like, Open-ended. They're left where you're like, oh, but what actually happens? You, the first way you might just see the parents like fucking putting her in a pillowcase and just spanking her <laughs> no, around. Put, like, like <laughs> put, putting her in an ice freezer. <laughs> Bro, no, she was doing the ice bucket challenge, but they didn't have a bucket. So they just chucked in the freezer for 10 minutes. They didn't realize she froze to death. Like, fuck, the, fro- the freezer's broken, stupid bitch. Okay, look, if, if that freezer thing is legit, like that's just so like clear as day. That is like the most clear as day open and shut case ever. It's just Bro, me- like that's such a weird thing to do. Like, nah, we just we're doing the job. Like, how do you explain that? Oh yeah, we just didn't want it in our room anymore, so we took throw it away. Yeah, like it it just wasn't working, so we we just decided to get rid of it. 
That yeah. just makes no sense. That's weird, bro. That can't be real. It can't be fucking real. Like that. That's so bad. Um, but then again, like um, OJ definitely did it, and he got away with it. So yeah. 100%. Um, next up is another bit of a conspiracy, right? Mm. So recently, this might be a little bit of old news. Now he's apologized since. Um, Pete Diddy. Uh, a video emerged in the last few days. So I'd say probably Friday, Saturday. Um, probably a week before you're watching this, actually. Uh, depending if you're watching. If you're a Patreon, you'll see it tomorrow. So that means nothing with time-wise. But yeah. you'll see it three days earlier. They're like, I'm seeing it now. Like, <laughs> what do you mean I'll see it tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. It's so it's so hard. The interwebs <laughs> are crazy. Um, but yeah, so P. Diddy, there's a video of him, like, well, a video of his old ex-wife, you know, Cassie Ventura. Nope. She was a, she's a baddie. You'll, you'll remember. She had a few songs. She was just hot. And they got married. She got put on the record label. All that shit. All that cool shit. Um, and there's a video of her. She's like running, freaking out. And like this, ele- like this elevator, like pretty much like this hotel. Sorry, this hotel like foyer. Mm-hmm. Like upstairs or whatever it's called. Like the outside of the elevators are. She's like tapping the button. And you see P. Diddy run out just in a towel. And like slams her head, throws it in the ground, like kicks the shit out of her. Like on, it's like, bro, it's like, it's like that Corden 4K meme. It's like, you can see clearly his face, her face, him beating her, kicking her right in the open view, like in the most, in the middle, like it's like perfectly centered. Like it's like, it's like a movie, bro. It's like the most, it's like the most fucking damning evidence we've ever seen on a video. <laughs> like, like there's literal movies that have filmed worse than this fucking CCTV footage was. And it's like, it's sure it's like black and white, but it's very fucking clear. It's P Diddy. I think he even looks at the camera at one point, like yeah. <laughs> just to establish it's him. And he's like kicking the shit out of her, bro. And like this got buried. They would have paid the hotel so much. And it finally came out, mm. right? And P Diddy's just doing this apology. He's like, damn, yeah. <sighs> Tough one to talk about. But it's like, she can't, if for statute of limitations and because she's sealed out of court already, like you already paid her out, she can't like put him in jail for this. Mm. So he's he can't be legally charged. But no one was talking about it, right? But Lucy was saying that no celebrities are speaking out because everyone's scared of Diddy. Yeah. And then we go into a rabbit hole. Uh, do you know who Candace Owens is? Yes. Yeah, so... The black dude? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so Lucy brought up a video and Candace Owens um, thinks that he did he killed um, Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. people also think he killed Tupac. Yeah, so legit. It's very I still think he was the he was the guy organizing the hit. Well, it's funny cuz um like with the Tupac thing, I remember Eminem had a song not that long ago. I think it was when he was doing the rap battles or something. Yeah, okay. But he said something about did he killed Park? And then like towards the end he's like, "Nah, I'm just kidding. You know I love you." Did he? Yeah. And then, but then it's like, when, now that like a lot of people are sort of like, oh, I reckon he killed Tupac. Like even fucking Ryan Garcia was saying, like, I know who killed Tupac. Yeah, it was yeah. P Diddy, like, all yeah. this shit. I don't know, like the the fucking the the kingdom's crumbling around him. And also, P Diddy was also like, um, I think East Side with Biggie. Yeah. So yeah. like, I don't know. It sort of makes sense. They killed you know, the other rising star yeah, of the legit. West side. Bro, there's a, there's a, I've seen a theory that Tupac was actually gay. And oh, it yeah. makes sense. It totally makes Have sense. He's sh- the that, actor? Yeah. He's an actor? I'm, oh. I'm my mom, I love my mom. Like that one? And he's like, bro, and it made sense to people like, yeah, he was a fake gangster and like, everyone kind of knows that. But I joined the dots. I was like, Jada Smith, right? Talk about how much she loved him. Bro, she has been in the industry She's just a gay man's beard, right? Mm-hmm. She's a, she was a him with Will Smith that got out as gay. After that, that went away real quickly too. She's just out here with getting with gay men, and they think she's they think you're straight. Yeah, yeah, that's my theory anyway. That's a you know that's just a theory, a gay theory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck dated so reference. But I'll get back to the Michael Jackson thing. Michael Jackson. Okay, so I'll just do it real quickly. You guys should look into it at home. We don't have all the time to go straight through it because it's been a very packed episode. Um, we still got a game to get to after this. But um, you guys should look at it at home. So the this dude, this Muhammad dude, right, was the – he's PD's head of security. Yep. He's the guy that when PD's men get, like, fucked up or, you know, they're, like – they're in, they get cops pull them over anywhere in, like, you know, LA or something, they call this guy. Yep. And he comes and makes it go away. Like, he sorts it out. Yeah, okay. All right. And this dude, before his PDC security, 
He was Michael Jackson's hair security. But the thing is, right, he was Michael Jackson's hair security at 21 years old. Just after finishing business school, mm-hmm. essentially like graduating with a business degree. So he's not security artist at all, like a security guard at all. It's some weird CAA crazy shit going on, right? Yep. I will say he's his hair security. <coughs> he's he's a hair security when Michael Jackson dies. Um, then it comes out like Michael Jackson's will came out that, oh, he's selling his shares to Sony Music to so-and-so, which then Diddy went and bought. Like through other, like through like a few people, there's a trail like boom, boom, boom. Then he bought those shares. And then Michael Jackson's family literally came out like the will was, he said, oh yeah, Michael Jackson signed the will, created this day at this place. And they're like, we have proof he wasn't there. He was here with us. So it couldn't have been done. Yeah, wow. But then it still got pushed through. Like there's some fucking crazy mafia shit going on behind it. And like there was a conspiracy. Michael Jackson got murdered. The first they tried to defame him and fuck him up with the whole pedophilia thing and get him, keep him down. Yeah. Then he kind of like survived the charges on that one. Yeah. Kept up and like still didn't sell his shit. Didn't want to start Spotify. Didn't want to do streaming. Wanted to keep the artists getting all the things. Michael Jackson was a hero that we never knew. Yeah. No, I never really believed the whole pedophile thing. I think I was too young to really think about. I knew it was a joke. Like Michael Jackson touches kids. Ha ha ha. Yeah. But I never really thought about how fucked up pedophilia was until I was older. And at that point, I didn't think he was a pedophile. No. Because I was like, it's weird, eh? Like, but it would have been so fucked up. Like, Bill Cosby thing. Like, I didn't really know Bill Cosby. It wasn't really a big shock. But the Kevin Spacey one fucked me up. Yeah. I really like Kevin Spacey. I was like, fuck, man. I don't well, like you trying to fuck young dudes. About Michael Jackson is like, even like Macaulay Culkin came out and he's like, no, like we... Like he, he even like I we have played video games. And I shit. think he yeah. even said like you know yeah to some it might be weird but like he knew that we were all kids that like grew up in this industry didn't get a childhood and, and like one thing that I remember going down a deep rabbit hole yeah. of when it came out about the whole Hollywood pedophilia ring sort of thing yeah yeah was he created the fun what's it called Wonderland. Oh, Neverland Jackson. Neverland Yeah He created that So he could get those kids away from Yeah okay So like It does sound weird Like oh you Like all these kids staying at my house And no parents allowed Or yeah. whatever But um Yeah I've seen a lot of things Saying that like He was just like a big kid Yeah and I see that too He was just like fun <laughs> to hang around He had a pet monkey and shit Like mm. he was just a vibes um, And he was just trying to keep yeah, all yeah. the pedophiles away from the kids. I get that because he didn't know what was going on and stuff. And he probably was fucking molested by his dad or something, you yeah. know? I mean, think about fucking Drake Bell's fucking uncle was molesting him. Was he? Do you know? Do you know Drake him? Bell's like a pedo as well, hey? Um, oh, maybe not a pedo. He got like a 17 year or 16 year or something. Yeah, okay. He got, he got in trouble for something. Yeah. But no, I didn't watch that, well, that I mean, show. So did Drake, so. Yeah. There's shit coming out now about Drake, like when he's like talking to. Drake Bell or Drake. Drake. Aubrey, Aubrey Drake. Drake, yeah, Aubrey. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> fucking. Bro, all, name's Aubrey. Ch- chick's up on stage, right? And he. Oh, yes. I, yes, I have heard this. Yeah, and he goes, he's like, I don't know, like grinding on her from behind. Yeah. And then he's like, yo, so how old are you? And she's like 17. And then he's like, I wish you hadn't have said that. And then he just starts kissing, kissing her. her. Yeah, he starts and, kissing her. And so. it's like, what? Bro, it's funny though, because I, when I first heard about that, like I saw she said something the other day. And like made a statement on Twitter, like that was me in that video. His men, his men, like you know, got me up on stage. You know, he didn't know how old I was, and I was like, oh, that's fair enough then. And then it was like, okay, hey, he says that, and it's like, nah, that's creepy, bro. And he's like, yeah, it was just a show. He was really a nice guy, and I was like, but no matter what, you probably got paid a million dollars to say he's a nice guy. If you say he's not a nice guy, you'd get less money than you were for saying he is. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like everyone's, you can buy anyone. But mm. like look at Cassie Ventura. The thing just came out about literally Petey was beating her head in on the ground, and she settled for money out of court. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like anyone can be bought. Any science can be bought. I'm gonna quickly one run to the toilet and then, yep, let's move on. Yep. Love you. <laughs> hey, hey champions. champions, have you clicked that subscribe button yet? What about following us on all socials? It's never too late. Link in the description below. Or Potty on the Rocks, or at Potty on the Rocks, on all social media platforms. How about joining our Discord? We've got numerous sections where you can tell us stories. Ask us questions. Leave controversial topics. And even leave us voice notes to play back and react on the podcast. There's fucking loads more. And we hope to hear from you soon. (laughs) Oh, and before we get back to the podcast... You'll be doing us a huge favour. Thanks, champions. Thanks, champions. Let's get back to it. (laughs)
All right, guys. Into it. So we're going to, just because that intro went so long, <laughs> we're going to jump into red flag, green flag, and then we're going to leave our last two topics for the after hours, which is yes. Patreon only. Um, red flag, green flag. Yeah, and a helicopter crash. Yeah, sorry. Um, breaking, breaking news. Do you want to say it, should I? Yeah, you say it. Another conspiracy theory to go off of. Uh, we'll get into this after our little, um, we'll get into this later on. But breaking news, the Iranian prison has been killed in a helicopter crash. Wow. More on that later. That's crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, so red flag, green flag. Um, they speak rudely to customer service stuff. Oh, red flag. Yeah. That's like disgusting behavior. Couldn't get past first date. Mm. Um, yeah, just nah. Like, I hate that shit. It's just like, like, all like, they like, like, like belittle like wait staff and stuff. Yeah. And just like mean about it. Um, yeah. Like I ordered a, I ordered a water with no ice. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, whoa, fucking just relax. <laughs> um, red flag, green flag. They make fun of like people's appearances in public, but like real like sad looking people. Like one out of tens that you know their life is hard already. Yeah, okay. They're like, oh, look at this fat guy. Over yeah, here. look at this fucking fat, ugly, disgusting cunt. Look at her fucking hair, yuck. Yeah. Does she know she's fucking retarded looking? That's a red flag. Yeah. 100%. It's, it's just mean. It's such a red flag. It's just mean. Yeah. Like I hate, I can't handle people like that. I, it's like, bro, why are you just so mean? Yeah. Like if you're having a joke, like, fuck, that That like looks retarded. Yeah. Like, or someone's down to or something, you're like, well, he's like having a great time. I'm going to have to have a look on my computer. Sorry. Just Sorry. I got, um, I got one more. She still has pictures of her ex on her Facebook. Mm. See, that one's tough because it's like Facebook's Instagram. I'm saying straight red, but Facebook, because it's like, you don't really delete Facebook posts. Like, so you're tagged it and shit. Mm. See, yeah, even on Instagram, like, if they archive it, that's fine. But, like, yeah, keeping it on there, probably not, no. Bro, archiving is actually, I think I think if you get on their phone, it's archived. That's worse than just deleting it. Because archived is like, oh, why wouldn't you just delete it? Archive's like, maybe we'll get back together and I'll post it back up. Nah, nah, I don't think, I don't think that. I think it's more just like, because I, I actually thought about this not that long ago. It's like, I feel like it's all... You always, unless it ends really badly, mm. you always have a love for an ex. Yeah. Regardless yeah. of like if you're in a happy, you know, like fucking five, seven year relationship now, you'll still somewhat be like, you know, like especially for someone like me, I'll always have a love for my ex because we have a kid together for one. Yeah. Yeah. That's the main thing. But, um, yeah, that he still loves you. <laughs> No, nah, but like it's it's obviously a different kind yeah, of love. Yeah, yeah, you're saying. But it's just like yeah, sometimes you even think about like the relationship, and you're like, you know, when it was good, it was good. But yeah, I don't know. It's a it, like it is. It's like an orange flag. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think keeping it red. Yeah, keeping it up. Yeah, red. All right. What if he died? Mm. What if it wasn't a breakup? Like he died. Yeah, I think you could keep it. Yeah, I think like because then in my mind as well, it's fucked up. But like he's not competition anymore. Yeah, like he's dead. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm like, fuck, that would oh, suck, dude, red flag, green flag. Your ex, your your partner's ex dies, and they want to go to the funeral. That's a green flag. But what if it's like I don't know? Oh, and the whole family hates yeah. you. Yeah. You don't have to go they with They hate you. But you, I feel like you'll be like, oh, I want to go with you out of support. And if it's like, no, nah, you can't come. I'll be like, mm, okay, well, have fun at the funeral. You just lost relationship too. Yeah. Have fun being single at the relationship. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, go back to your ex. I'll wait. <laughs> okay, nah. Red, <laughs> red flag, green flag, right? She brings up how much she loves her dead ex. Bro, Yeah. That would be the hardest That'd be pill rough. to swallow. But it's because one of those things that's so like, you can't, like, I've always had a weird thing about, like, I always I, I always feel weird about, like, like my mate, like, my girlfriend's or my partner's exes, if they got dumped by the by the guy. Because then I'm like, oh, fuck, this wasn't on your terms. You probably still want them. And they just didn't want you. You know what I mean? Like, mm. and that's like, oh, if they ever asked you back, you'd probably do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas like, I'm happy if like, oh, you dumped everyone. I'm like, I've dumped everyone too. That's perfect. We'll just, that's perfect. 
You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you were you were done with them when you got, you know what I mean? You got over them, you dumped them. Maybe like three or four exes back, it's understandable, like a high school, but it was like their most recent ex. Like, oh yeah, he broke up with me, so-and-so. I was seeing a girl one time and she was like, oh yeah, my ex broke up with me like three months ago. And I was like, fuck, that's awkward as. I don't want to like have a bar of this. Like yeah, you're still definitely, you're still into him. You're telling me about because it. Because there's a big chance that if he was like, look, I fucked up, like she would just be. Sneaky, yeah, you'd just get ghosted. Do the sneaky lean. Yeah, yeah, you'd yeah. be a rebound. Have you ever realized you're a rebound? Um, no. That was no, the only I've, time I I've think. Ne- I've never. I was like chatting. I was like, "Yeah, yeah sick. You're still into your ex. That's cool. I'm done." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah. Red, what I said. Red flag. Green flag. Like if they kept bringing up their dead ex. It's a hard one, eh? Like I don't think it's a. It's a. It's a sad one because it's like it's. It's hard because what you just said. Uh, the cops are. Here, yeah, fucking hell! <laughs> it's a hard one because we, what, what you they, just they're coming said. to rate us because we talk about Manny McCann too much, probably. Um, it's a hard one because it's like, yeah, they're no longer like competition, but then it's like you'll never be them. Yeah, like, it's not like yeah, it's like your second. And best. they never like they never broke up. Yeah, well, that's what I feel about like even with like <clears throat> oh we broke up because he had to move away for school or had to move away for his job and we couldn't work it out and it's like bro that's not even a bad breakup they're still good mates like that would yeah, so if they like, lived if they lived if he moved back you'll probably lose your girl nah okay if they if they ended on like good terms, I know girls like I know some girls for sure that <coughs> like me more than their boyfriends no but like if they like end, and that all it would take you if, know if they ended on good terms like you said like. Oh, you know, he was moving away for work or whatever, and we just couldn't make long distance work. They can't be friends on yeah, Facebook or anything. Dude, legit. Like that's, otherwise, yeah, nah. otherwise, that's a red flag. That's yeah, a red like, flag. can't be friends with the Rex. Like, as soon as you fuck my girl, you're not, you know, it's done. Sorry to break it to anyone at home, <laughs> but um, I don't really think it's possible to be just friends with an ex. No, once you've seen each other's buttholes, there's a, there's a bond there. Yeah, but like you can be if you just fuck people, you can be friends. I reckon. Yeah, yeah, hundred. But as soon as you start cuddling and dating and doing things together and start that that you know those synapses start fl- flowing, you like the smell of their breath, you want to be around them more. You'll that's changed the whole thing. You can never go back to being just friends. Yep. And people say it like that's like as soon as it's like oh you sleep with someone yeah nah you're not hanging see, out. With see them. the thing is I'm mature enough to be friends with my ex. Yeah. Or exes, but the thing is it's the fact it's. Out of respect for future partners. Yeah, definitely. And, and vice versa, their respect for me. Yeah. Like, I don't know, that's just a big red flag. If, if I ever, like, when I date someone next, yeah, if they're still friends with their ex, they're not an option. Yeah. In my opinion. Because it's like, I, I don't care, like, if you've only dated for a year. Like, you've still both seen each other naked. You, yeah. You... I don't know You've, if they're messaging like late at night and shit and like I don't know it's just weird. it's just Still weird it's too out. weird it's like yeah it's like oh hey it's my do you mind if we go to my ex's birthday or we go to the birthday party my ex is gonna be there yeah. not really I don't really want to hang out with them like you gonna say hello are you gonna chat are you gonna like fucking fuck off and chat for ten minutes and that's you know the, the fucking reminisce is, about his is, fucking fucking riding his that massive bareback. penis yeah riding his big black cock like. But the thing is, it's, it's for me, it's not even out of like an insecurity thing. It's honestly like a respect thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think the same. Same. I'm the same way because like, I literally limit what I do for that reason, and yeah. be like, oh, I'm not going to be friends with this person. I'm not going to go to this thing. It's just weird seeing my ex here, and it's just weird for you. <coughs> but it's like, and I want that respect given back to me. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the shit I do, it's like stuff like that. Well, the thing is, if my ex was there, I'd want my current partner to be yeah, there, definitely. and it's just so I could be like, look. Cause I don't want to, ha- I don't want to talk to her. I don't yeah. want this and that. But like, yeah, I I think it's you'd rather than be there for the fact that because, like, not knowing is so much worse. Because you yeah. always think the worst anyway. But like, if they're there with you and you'd say, oh yeah, hey, she said hey to me. You said hey to her. Like, introduce each other. Like, you know. Yeah, I just think. Um, yeah, I I think it's it's perfectly green flag to be civil and respectful yeah. to an ex hating all your exes all your exes hating you is a red flag red flag yeah but i'm yeah. a red flag i don't know i don't think some of them don't hate me maybe they do they just but like yeah i i believe yeah so like talking to an ex like if they see them oh hey how are you going like blah blah, blah. but i mean as soon as they mention like oh hey like i miss you like we should catch up like red flag yeah yeah i miss us Bro, oh. she says it like right in I front saw, of you. How's your mom? Like, what? Yeah, how's your mom? Like, oh yeah, she still like she loves you, man. You should go talk to her. Like, what? 
Yeah. What? Yeah, your ex is like still what? going out for coffee dates with your mum. Bro, that my fucking my, I think my mum did do that. Dude, my dad was buying weed off my fucking ex's mum for like years. <laughs> I've, I've They're like hanging out and shit. And like, I, yeah, I asked about you. Like, don't ask about me. I've got another one for an ex. <laughs> yeah. um, pretty much what I was just saying. They speak positively about an ex. I think that's fine. Like, great I think car. that's quite nice. Yeah, nah. Like, that would be weird. I mean, like, I think it's fine. Like, I don't not, I don't love it, but I still got to respect it. Like, if they pretend to hate them, is worse. Because then it, like, comes up they don't. Yeah. I'd rather than be honest with me and be like, oh, yeah, we broke up because, you know, we were just, you know, going different ways in life. Mm. Like, you know, it was nothing bad. I'm like, yeah, I just respect that. I'm like, you're never seeing him again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This man, She's this man cannot like, yeah, be allowed. Well, my ex, like, you used to dress really nicely, but, like, what you're wearing is all good. Yeah, she's like, oh, he used to, have, yeah, he used to take me out and like buy me things, and like it was real weird. Like it was real, like he would just treat me like a princess, and like you know, you make me work. Yeah, it's like I didn't, I didn't want it or anything. Like honestly, I've never been one for money. Like my ex was super rich, but like it's fine. Like I, it's nice that you want to take me to Macca's. All right, um, it's cool. Red flag, green flag. Them asking to see your phone. Context. They just no context. They just want to see your phone. Um. Like Do they just ask, hey, can I see your phone? Green flag. That's fine. If it's like, show me show me who you're messaging. Or like the the sneaky, like you have your phone, you're just on your phone they're laughing at something and they do like the little like look over and shit. That's a bit, I don't think it's a red flag, but I think there's definitely something that needs to be touched on with it. It needs to be a conversation so of like, why do you feel you? that way? Like, do, are you is this like something that I've done and can I make it better so you don't feel this way? Because there's nothing worse than being suspicious. And like, it's the thing is like, I know from my own way, like I can get so paranoid and so suspicious and so psycho. But as soon as I talk about it, it's so much better. It's done. Like I get it out of my head. I'm like, I say, you're joking doing this. But I usually always have a lot of evidence behind me to back it up. And yeah. then once it's cleared, it's like, oh, cool. And I was just in my own head. They're like, oh, can I see your phone? You're like, yeah, in five minutes. <laughs> oh, I stormed to the bathroom. <laughs> like, you're just furiously deleting shit. <laughs> they come into my phone, like, in the sink, like, broken in half. Like, I'm fucking, like, it's like the FBI is trying to come in. I'm trying to hide my child porn collection. She's like, can you open up your for your eyes only on um, Snapchat? And you're like, oh, I forgot the code for it, actually. <sighs> what is it? And she's like, oh, it might be a birthday. No, 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 it's all good. It's all good. Well, we'll try, oh, we'll try fucking 6969. Oh, it didn't work. Fuck, I'm locked out. Oh, oh I'll show you when it unlocks, babe. Yeah. I'm just going to have a toilet real quick <laughs> with my phone. All right. Um, and like, oh, there's nothing in your eyes only. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's weird, eh? All right. Um, red flag, green flag, they swear a lot. Yeah, that's a bit of a red. Like, actually, nah. I don't know. Like that doesn't that doesn't really bother me. Like, nah, but they sw- like they swear. I swear a lot, so I can't really be like. Yeah, but they swear like, like I don't know. So except, yeah, so except, like you could be talking. They to say them. cunt in common yeah. conversation. I don't like how I don't like women saying cunt. It's wild, eh? I feel like it's a. It's not like this isn't a sexist thing yeah. or anything. I just feel like it's a. It's a thing that like guys. It's say. a very masculine like, word. Yeah, we can't. But if like a chick said. I kind. I'd yeah. be like, oh. Yeah, it's fucking, it's rough. It's a rough when girls back say it. Back away from me, you fucking little grommet. Yeah, you fucking grot. Yeah, all right, and the last one that I have is red flag, green flag. They order food for you. I think that's a green flag. I think that's quite nice. I'll be quite impressed. Like they order food for the table, is what I mean. For like everyone? Yeah, but nah, it's I don't like, like that. but like, uh, but like, it's only you and her. Oh, all good then. Yeah, yeah. I don't like, like, I would hate it if my partner paid for other people's food. Oh no, she's not paying. She's just oh, ordering. Oh, okay. Like so, like the wait, the waiters come over and you've gone to the toilet and she's gone. Oh, so I've just ordered like the, you know, I've just ordered like three starters. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, what'd you get? And she just says like, oh, you know, like the snails. That's and fine. The that's fine with the me. Bugs. <laughs> I hate all of that, but that's cool. You know me so well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think that's fine. I, I, where is, how is it a red flag? <coughs> I think it's an orange flag. Okay. Because um, maybe I don't want to share food tonight. Maybe yeah. I want to get a a big palmy for me. Yeah, I get that. All right, red flag, green flag. You ask if they want food. They say no, and 
And then when you're eating, they go, oh, do you mind if I have a bite? Bro, I hate that so much. And it's funny. Like, this is a cute. It's an orange for me. Because it's thing, I think it's cute, and I always expect it to happen. And I think it's just like a, a normal girl thing to do, but like, because oh, they don't want to be fat, they don't want to eat, they're not hungry. But it's like, well, it looks really good, and I'm like, oh, you should have had one because I want the whole thing. Um, but the funniest one was um, Lucy loves sharing food. Yeah, like she loves it because she's like, oh well, she'll be, she'll be like, she'll think she's being smart, and like, like she'll be like, oh, I'll get this. Yeah, you want to try that one? That looks really good. You try that one. But it's like she just wants to be able to eat both, yep. right? And then she's like, how about we go halves? And I'm like, oh, I hate splitting up food and shit. I'm like, I just want to eat my pasta meal. I don't want to like try and cut it in half and give you half the pasta. Like burger's okay, but I'm like, I just want to eat it normally. I don't want a half burger. Like if I wanted that, I would have got that, you know? Yep. And it's like, fuck, I'm used to it now. But at first it was so bad. It was like literally like argument level. I'm like, dude, I don't want to share it. See, but now I'm used to it and I love it. And it is really nice to be able to try two different meals at once. See, my past relationship, like, yeah, Caitlin wasn't like that. She wasn't like, oh, you know, you get that and I get this. And it was more just like, oh, like, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty good at sharing mm. um, when it comes to a relationship. Like, I'll be like, oh, do you want to have a bite? Yeah, I'm always but, offering. But yeah. when, it, when it's like, do you want to have a bite? And they're like, oh, yeah, I'll have a bite. And they're like, mm, that's really good. Mm. I'm like, bro. And you're like, oh, you're like, okay. Like, I know you like, you only took a couple bites, but it's like, yeah, like. Yeah, I only I'm, get. I'm big compared yeah, to Yeah, like, I only get like that when it's like something I really like. Like, I'll be like, oh, like I went and got hunger tamers one time, and I think the fried chicken burger was so fucking good. And I was like, oh, I got the extra burger, mate. Well, Luce, if you do want it, there's an extra burger there as well. And then like she, I gave her by the fried chicken one, and she's like, fuck, that's really good. And had a couple more bites, <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool, okay. And she's like, oh, I might go have the other one. And I'm like, oh no, because you took like four bites of my burger. I yeah. kind of assume like I'll eat the other one now, yeah, because I bought enough to make me full. Yeah. So then I'm like, now I've got less food, and now I'm like, oh, we'll share the other one then as well. And I'm like, fuck, now I should have just got two. But from then on, I'm always like, buy a road burger. I was just about to say, you know what I did? So for my ex, I remember. Yeah. It, maybe it was McDonald's, and I remember saying to her, I was like, do you want any? Do you want like what do you want for dinner? Yeah. And she was like, oh, I'm not really that hungry. It was just one of those days where yeah. she was going through like mental health or something, and um. And I, I just, I know, you, you know, when you're in a relationship, yeah, you yeah. know the person. And I was like, oh, I know, I know, she's just not eating because she's in like, a yeah, mood. bad hair space, yeah. Well, she, I, I just felt like she was in a mood, like when uh, my ex, when she was in a mood, like she would not eat on purpose. Yeah, and that's a, that's not a good thing. Um, so I would get my food and I'd be sitting on the couch and I wouldn't pull the burger out. I would leave it in the bag. And I'd wait for her to be like, oh, like, can I have a bite? And then I'd be like, I was waiting for you to say that because I actually bought you the burger that you like. Yeah. So it was, and, and, and then like, you know, seeing the look on their faces when yeah. you do that. It's, it's like, pretty cool. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Like I knew you were going to yeah. ask. Yeah. Um, that, I love that. Should I do the same thing with Lucy and stuff? I'd be like, go to the shop. And then she, she'd be like, oh no, I don't want anything. And I'll get her like a Gatorade or I'll get her like a bag of chips or something like that or some cookies. Some lollies. Yeah. And then she'd be like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh my God, I love these. I wanted these. I actually wanted this. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, yeah, I'm not. Like, I'm and not like the one time I come home, like go to the server and come out empty handed. She's like, oh, you didn't get anything. Like, you oh, hate you me. You didn't want anything. So like, yeah, that's, that's cool. She's like, mm. and you're not getting any tonight. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. You're like, it's my birthday. No, I'll go back in. She's like, don't worry about it. I don't even want anything anymore. Let's just go home. <laughs> and like, we're going out to the we go out for drinks or something like that. So we'll just go home instead and go not talk. You can and then like, but we're going out though. She said, you can go out. Yeah, <laughs> that's I, the worst. Oh. That's the worst. Like you can still go out. <laughs> like, is, what am I fucking gonna do at dinner at the surf club by myself? <laughs> <laughs> that actually, <laughs> that's no. like like what what do you expect me to do? Oh yeah, I'll go out by myself, have no. dinner, and then you'll be like, oh my god, I can't believe she went. No, you know what the worst situation was for me? I remember I bought the tickets to go to the movies. Yeah. It was me, my ex, Mitchell, and Christian. Yeah. And let's say it started at seven. I go, all right, it's time to leave. And she's just like, oh, I, don't, I don't really feel like I'm not in that yeah. headspace. And I was just like, oh, no, she felt sick or something. Yeah. Or maybe it was headspace. It was something like that. And I was like, oh, like. What? Like, you know, no, it's all good. I'll, I'll stay home. I'll send the boys the tickets. And she was like, no, 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 it's all good. Like, you go. 
And I was just like, like I legit like had no money yeah. after, after I bought the tickets. Yeah. And I was just sort of like, fuck, like, yeah, it's all good. Like, you know, I wasn't trying to be, make her guilty or anything. I was just like, fuck, yeah, I don't really have money. And she's like, oh, I'll send you money. Like, it's all good. And I was just like, no, nah, it's all good. Like, I'll just stay home. We can watch a movie here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, she's like, no, 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 like, I want you to go out. And I was just like, I was like, are you sure? Like, <laughs> are you certain? And she was like, no, it's all good. Like, I'll just stay here. And I remember going down to the front door and my mum goes, what the fuck are you doing? Like, go back into that room. And I was like, I fucking asked her like 20 times, <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. And my mum's like, no, like you have to stay home. Yeah. And I went back in the room and then she's like crying. <laughs> and I was just like, and she's like, why are you here? And I was like, I was like, why am I in trouble? Yeah, like, bro, I'm trying to be helpful. What yeah. the fuck? I'm trying to be a good partner. No, I, I get that. Like, no, it's no, just, no, yeah. here's the worst part. Yeah. Then you're had, in worse trouble because you stayed. No, no, no. We ended up like, she was upset and we, you know, sorted it out and stuff. And like Mitchell and Christian are at the cinemas and I didn't send them the fucking ticket. Bro. Oh, bro. And and like, I think we went to bed like early as that night or something or we watched a movie. And I remember looking up in the morning and they're like, bro, like, where's our ticket? And I was like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> I was like, boys, I'll send you guys your money back. Yeah. So I You're already, even worse off. I already didn't have money. Yeah. And I was just like, bro, like, fuck, I fucked up. But this is going to be the end of the regular episode. Yeah. So for our patrons, you'll see you in a second. Um, for everyone else, cheerio. Much love. Go subscribe. Yeah. See you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>